Today I just got the Renogy 100 watt solar kit. This has the uh, solar panel which is in the uh, big box. And then we have the um, solar controller and also the inverter and all the wires that are necessary. Inside the package um, we have the charge controller. and <clears throat> Various wires that you would need. And uh, there's also the um, pure sine wave inverter. And in the big box, we have the monocrystalline solar panel. So when I got the boxes for the solar panel, basically I had to talk myself down a little bit because you see all these wires and you see the panel, and you see the inverter, and you see the charge controller, and you go, what have I gotten myself into? So, the first thing to do is just take a couple deep breaths, look at YouTube for a while, uh, figure out, and realize that uh, that ton of other people have successfully connected it. And, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, instructions on YouTube, also the manufacturer's site, and um, this has been done by a ton of people before you, and you can certainly do it. But if you feel uncomfortable about doing it, you can also, you know, hire a solar panel um, installer or possibly an electrician with experience. But I've decided to just give it a go. I'll let you know how it goes. A brief review of the system. Okay, the, we have the uh, solar panels. We have the wires that connect to the solar panels to the charge controller and charge controller uses battery wires that go to the battery and um, from the battery we also use battery wires that go from the battery to the inverter to invert the energy from 12 volt DC to AC I did buy some uh, extra wiring I got a great deal like um, 24 feet for six bucks there's a, a little bit of a mix-up at Home Depot and which wound up me waiting for like 10-15 minutes so they gave me on top of the discount an extra discount so basically six bucks for 24 feet of 4 gauge wire which is a great deal um, half the battle it seems is to figure out where exactly to put the uh, charge controller and where in the location for your RV to put in the inverter. So let's take a look. So every casita is different. Um, the former owner of this casita, they put the battery on the outside. So this is where the tow hitch is. This is the battery container. Um, what I plan on doing is uh, drilling a hole right under the shelf here so that it's protected somewhat from the rain. And um, I'm going to go straight through here. And where it will go in is on the inside. And I'll mount the inverter below on the sidewall next to um, the uh, stove. And on top of it, I'm going to put the inverter. I think this will give the closest um, distance between the battery, which is about three feet, I don't know, two feet this way, directly to the charge controller, and then out to the uh, inverter to the batteries as well. So here's the, uh, the bunk bed uh, rear seating. And essentially, I'll lift this up real quick. I'm going to be drilling through the back here. I'm going to drill a one and um, one and three quarter inch hole, and then I'm going to put a coupler, a squeeze coupler conduit um, into the hole. Uh, that's a one and a half inch, but actually it's one and a half inch, but the um, but with the uh, threads, it comes out to about one and three quarters, so the hole has to be that large. 
So the first thing I want to do is make sure that um, the inverter works. So what I have is a couple wires that are hooked into the battery. And the negative, I have a, um, a kill switch. That way I can attach it and then, um, then turn on the kill switch. So I'll do that next. So I don't know if you can see that, but the uh, power light is glowing. When I turn it on, and it turns off. Okay, now I'm going to drill a hole next to the battery right here where I'm going to put in this uh, squeeze coupler where I'm going to run all my wires through. Okay, uh, I drilled a hole where I'm going to put my coupler which will hold all of my wires. What I find interesting is I have this um, clamp coupler or connector uh, to run my wires through this hole here but it actually measure, measures one and um, three quarter inches and so I uh, drilled a hole one and three quarter inches but it's actually a little bit larger so now I have to widen it and what I'm going to use is a grinder so here I go so now I have the hole wide enough what I'm going to do is um, put some silicone sealant onto this first, and then I'm going to hammer it in. So the next thing I did is I, I fed the wires that go to the solar panel through, through our hole. And I'm just pulling out some of the length here. So I'm not going to mount this on my RV, my casita. Um, if I were, I would use these Z brackets and um, what it does is it gives it a little bit of elevation off of the roof. What I am going to do is I bought a uh, stand separately. I bought this stand from Amazon. And what I'm going to do is use the Z brackets. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is use it as a bridge to put the stand up. I'll show you the results. So here are the legs. You can see it's extremely like non-standard. <laughs> but um, I had these stands. They weren't made for the Renogy. But with a little, I don't know, wackiness, I made it work. Um, it's actually a, pretty secure. I know it doesn't, it might not look that way, but it is. Uh, especially with this thing at an angle. But um, this one's flush. And it's great, actually. I found that uh, when I turn it over, you'll see that there's this gap here. But basically what happens is that... When um, having done it this way, it basically gives a gap between the ground and the stand. I mean, the ground and the panels, which is nice. It'll keep it off the grass, off the dirt. And, and I made it work. So tomorrow I'm going to hook it all up, and we'll see how everything goes. Okay, moment of truth. I've set up the solar panel. Took me a couple days. It doesn't take uh, two days to do everything. It's just, you know, back and forth to Home Depot and back. So now we get to see um, if everything works. I'm going to plug in the solar panels. We'll check the voltage. So as you can see, panel voltage is at zero. 
we're going to connect the uh, solar panels and uh, see if it draws a draws a current. If it doesn't, it's a sign that uh, I have the polarities mixed up. So let's do it. Okay, so it rained last night, and I'm drying the connectors. Um, here's the thing: is um, the red doesn't mean positive; it means the male side, and so you have to go off of the um, ends here. And one is uh, marked as uh, as positive. And the other one has a minus indicating it's negative and so the positive red is actually off of the panel and that's how you can tell the um, positive versus negative so let's connect it okay the connections are connected the panels covered okay the kill off switch the kill switch is um, not closed, so it's not active for the solar panels just yet. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then uh, everything should be live. Check out the, the photo of a, the PV uh, action. Okay, pulling 14 volts. There's 0.1 amps so far. It's a zero kilowatt hour. So everything's a go. Looks like I'll have to get a um, something like a 20 foot cable. <laughs> Basically, I can position this anywhere. So the advantage is that I can park in the shade and then put my uh, solar panel in the sun. Okay, life is good. I have my laptop. It's running off of the inverter. As far as I could tell, everything's charging. I'll have to figure out, understand more about this, but it used to be at 13.4 and then it uh, went down to, it's coming up here, 12.7, so it's drawing a charge, but um, it's still good, and uh, this is exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to run my laptop and also charge my cell phone, so life is good. Okay, so that was my solar panel installation video. Like I said, I uh, used the Renogy uh, solar installation kit. It's about, I don't know, 460 bucks off of uh, Amazon, and I'll have the link below. In total, it took me probably about three to four hours not knowing what the heck I was doing, uh, and that includes drilling time. But you know, the kit has everything that you need, uh, except for a battery. So it has the inverter, the charge controller, um, the panels, or the panel, and all the wiring that you would need. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, and concerns below, and hopefully, hopefully this video is helpful to you. I wasn't able to find a, a complete video that had something from start to finish for the installation, and so I decided to make one. So again, leave your comments, questions, and concerns below, and I'll try to get back to you. All right, thanks.